Hi, in previous chapter we have talked about how to put objects with labels into maps and retrieve them by these labels, these keys again. In this chapter we will talk about how to iterate over the items inside a map. For this we use values method and values method will return a collection that is storing the same type with our map so it's collection customer let me reference it as collection and since all the collections have an iterator inside them we may access the iterator again with collection dot iterator and here I'm getting the iterator and iterator will point to customer instances so I'm so I'm providing the type of customer and by clicking Ctrl Shift O I'm importing iterator class okay and then while iterator has next item I will go to the next item and point it with a customer say customer reference and I will print out the name of the customer customer reference that gets name let's see them you see we have iterated over all the items inside the map and printed out the names of them the same thing goes for map dot entry set entry means key plus value so you will get both key and the value inside the map item okay and the type of entry is an inner class and it's shown as map dot this is the type of the key and this is the type of the value okay let's say entry set and we will get a collection of them like this like this so entry set will return a collection and this collection is storing entry instances which is storing string key and customer value okay now let's iterate over this entry set by getting the iterator first okay and iterator will point to an entry let's say entry it for the name of this reference and while entry iterator has next I will get entry iterator dot next and store it in this reference let's say entry for it and you may print out the key and the value let's say key entry dot get key plus value equals to entry dot get value because key is storing both key and value okay now let's print it out as you can see key Mary and this is our object key Natalie and this is our object this approach goes for the key set also you may get the key set by saying map dot key set okay and this will again return a collection to you and it will be a collection of strings because uh, all the keys are strings say key collection and let's get the iterator of it by iterator method and refer it with an iterator that is pointing to string instances and its name is key iterator okay and let's iterate over it key iterator has next while key iterator has next item 
we will store the key inside this instance and key iterator dot next and we will print out this, this key and let's try it you see we got the keys now keys are Mary Natalie Talha Josh because we put the keys as the name of the instances now what happens if I put customer 5 with this key over and over again what will be the result let's say I put it over and over again and I'm iterating over this map over and over again let's see the result you see even if you put this value over and over again it is stored only once here it is stored only once because if there are multiple objects with the same key a hash map checks if the customer 5 has been put into this map before if it if it exists already it will not put this instance into the same key value pair okay but what if I create another customer and let's say it is Jim Carrey and its ID is 6 it is customer 2 if I put customer 6 here what happens you see Jim has been put into here because even if the key is the same with customer 5 instance it is different from the customer 5 in that case Jim has also put into this map but in that case Brett is not here you see Brett is not here because if the key already exists in the map the new item will overwrite the existing items so bread has been removed from the map and the new item customer 6 Jim Carrey has been put into this map so you need to be careful about the keys if the same key is used over and over again the new one will overwrite the previous one in the next chapter we will talk about set collection see you then